guys and welcome back to my mini series to help entertain you during this self isolation. So I have been filming all of these right in a row. I've already been filming for several hours and I just decided for the last two videos, I am going to put this blanket around me because it's gotten cold. It's kind of starting to get dark outside and I just wanted to be comfy. So please forgive. I asked on Instagram for some video requests and I saw this one come up a couple of times. And at first I was like, I don't know, even know what I would do for that. And then this memory hit me and I was like, oh my gosh, that's the worst. And this is going to be my most embarrassing moment. I don't know if this is like the most embarrassing moment, like maybe other things have happened, but this is what comes to my mind. and. I cringe looking back at this like, oh my gosh, it was so embarrassing in the moment. You guys might not think it's that embarrassing or maybe you wouldn't have been as embarrassed as I was if you had been in this situation. I don't know, I'm just gonna get into the story. Don't get embarrassed super easily or often. I tend to be pretty confident. I tend to just kind of be okay. I don't know, I guess that's why I don't have a ton of embarrassing memories that come up but this one literally makes me cringe even now, 10 years later. So this took place my senior year of college and I was um, getting ready to take my final for this class. It was a senior level major specific class. So it was a small class. So a lot of my classes were in like big lectures with hundreds of students, but this one in particular was like a capstone class. So it was very small. I think there were only about 15 students in the whole class and we were taking our final, like I said. So I had stayed up all night studying for this final. Um, I was definitely the student who would pull all nighters before exams or big projects or big presentations. I wouldn't necessarily procrastinate. I would also study like other days, not just the night of the exam, but I just always, I've been like a night owl my whole life. And so I always just found it easier to stay up really late studying and then go straight to class than it was to try to like sleep some and then go. I think I actually would have been more tired that way. So this was pretty normal for me. I was a senior. I've been doing this for years already before exams and it was fine. That's, that was how I did it. So stayed up all night, uh, didn't eat breakfast. That is going to be a big part of why what happened happened. Um, and I don't think that I had been snacking much that night. I'm sure that I had some snacks during the night, but I definitely didn't have a meal. And so my last meal had been an early dinner the night before. So I go to this class, I get my final exam. We're all sitting there taking it. It's just 15 of us and we're in ver a very like small classroom. And it's very quiet because we are taking an exam. Like. It's, you can like hear the clock ticking, it's so quiet. And all of a sudden, my stomach growls so loud and so aggressively, and literally all the students turned and looked at me. If it had been just that, it still would have been very embarrassing, and it still might be worthy of a story time, but that was not it. My stomach decided to make constant growls, constant noises. I hadn't eaten and I was also, I do think with stomach growling, now I don't know if this is actual science, but I find like with myself, the more nervous I get about it, like the more I want it to not make noise, the more it makes noise. Like the more anxious I get about it, the more it starts grumbling. And it's not just that I'm noticing it more. I've actually like thought about this and like, paid attention to this a lot over the years since then. If I get nervous about it, it gets a lot worse. So of course I was, after that first growl, I was like, this is so, I was so embarrassed. And because of that, my anxiety went up. I started getting more nervous about it. And then it was just like, it would not shut up. Like it was so loud. It honestly sounded like I was about to have like a bathroom emergency. Like it was just so loud. And that's not what it was actually, which thank goodness, like that would be a whole nother level of embarrassing. It wasn't that, it was literally just hunger. But in the moment I was just like trying to take this final and I knew everyone was listening to my stomach. Like they had all looked at me. It was definitely not just in my head. 
And it just, the longer it went on, the more and more like frantic I was getting. And finally, you guys, I just stood up in the middle of the test and left the room. I knew that there was a vending machine that had like crackers and stuff right outside of the classroom. And so I left the room. I didn't even ask my professor if I could. You're not allowed to get up and leave during exams, obviously, because you could like Google questions on your phone. I knew that I would maybe get in trouble, but it was one of those moments where I was just like, if I fail this class, like I'm still leaving. I went out into the hallway I got a pack of peanut butter crackers from the vending machine and I sat on the floor in front of the vending machine eating my crackers and just like thinking about how awful life was in that moment and the crackers did the, the trick like my stomach stopped growling because it was truly it was just hunger but it was like intense hunger it wasn't just normal like feed me it was like you've been ignoring me and like I'm really hungry so I'm gonna like growl until you feed me so I ate the crackers and then once my stomach had calmed down, I went back in to the classroom. My professor and I made eye contact and he just kind of nodded at me. Like, I honestly think he had heard it too. So I think he was just like, it's fine. So I sat down, I finished my exam and I went home. And um, I never, thank goodness, it was the final and not the midterm. So I never had to go back to that classroom. Oh my God. That was like the luckiest part of this whole story is if it had been any other time, I would have had to see those kids again and like go back to that classroom. I just remember thinking that was like the most embarrassing thing that I've ever been through. And I think that I actually like changed my behaviors after that. I started making sure that I ate um, like a, something with some sort of carb before class. So either oatmeal or crackers, something that was gonna kind of coat my stomach and keep it from growling. And I remember after that happened, I think because I was so nervous about it happening again, I remember kind of having a little bit of trouble with it with some of my other finals as well. Not anything as serious as that, but I would make sure I would eat. I think I was just super hyper aware of it and just so anxious that it was gonna happen again. Um, but it never happened like that again, thank goodness. And like I said, I started eating before all of my classes and before my finals and I never had that happen again. But looking back, like when someone said, tell us about your most embarrassing moment, that's the story that comes to my mind. Maybe you wouldn't have been as embarrassed. Maybe you wouldn't have cared. Maybe you would have made a joke like, you guys, I didn't eat this morning, you know, but you're not thinking about that in the moment, especially when you're in the middle of a final exam in college, like senior year in your capstone class. It was a big deal and um, yeah, just uh, so embarrassing. I hope you guys enjoyed this little mini episode video. If you did, make sure you subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. Please hit that bell to be notified so that my videos will go to your feed. I will see you guys tomorrow at noon Eastern for the last video in this mini series. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you enjoy tomorrow's video and I will see you guys then. Goodbye.